Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. Once again, it is me, Malt. So happy to be here with you guys. As always, um, I just posted a video on how to open a second account in Clash of Clans. Go and check that video out if you haven't. Um, but what I'm going to show y'all right now, as you can see, my army camp is full of archers and goblins. And you can also see that I'm at 1,002 trophies, which is ridiculous. <laughs> But, at any rate guys, I am farming right now, and as you can see, I am almost all level 7 walls. And honestly, I've gotten like 4 million gold today, something ridiculous. Um, with this new farming, uh, farming type strategy that I'm doing, whatever it may be. Um, I know that you guys don't like watching me search, but that's going to be the part of the process in this because I'm going to show y'all how I farm. This is right, this right here is exactly how I farm, okay, so... As you can see, over here training up, I have a whole bunch of archers. I just keep on ticking away at them. Archers, archers, archers. Go through them, archers, blah, blah, blah. Um, and you know what? Let's do a couple of minions as well. Let's put that up to 10. Um, but other than that, those guys are just going. I don't even know what's going on in clan chat. We're going to go ahead and attack. And we are down at 1,000 trophies. So some of these bases are hilarious. Um, and as you can see, like we're looking for bases like this where I can just drop down like a couple of archers and they're gonna get me like 20,000 gold something like that um, so it started off at 50 it's getting down there um, are there any other I don't see any other gold mines I don't think I can get anything from these can I yes yeah, so I can't get anything from those so that's a little deceiving on the part of supercell um, Let's get ourselves a little bit of elixir to pay for our archers while we're at it. Um, so I'm just going around to bases like this, honestly, and just picking these things off. Um, and uh, it's really, really, really paying off well for me. Um, this one isn't really going to be that good of an example. Um, but it does work because it shows you that it doesn't really matter the base you attack, really. It's just how available their... Um, their collectors are and whether or not their collectors are full so we're going to surrender from that we didn't use that many troops um and we got not that much gold or elixir whatever all right so <laughs> we're going to move on we're going to come right back here and during that amount of time you'll see that our army camp pretty much filled up again to where we were just before we're now at 982 trophies um so this one those are protected a little bit more than our archers can handle we're really just trying to find ones where the um, all the gold is in one side of the base or something along those lines because that's one thing that I always talk about in my videos is making sure that you don't put all of your similar resources on the same side as the other ones um, because that way people are just going to come around and all they're going to do is do exactly what I'm doing. If they want all your gold, they're just going to attack one side of the base and they're going to get all your gold. If they want all your elixir, they're going to attack one side of the base and get all the elixir. So what I'm looking on here for right now is bases where the majority of the stuff is full. As you can see, I don't think I might get hit by this mortar. Um, come on, pick the mine. There we go. All right, so I'm not going to get hit by the mortar. But as you can see, um, the collectors are relatively full on this base. Um, so we're going to go ahead, I doubt he has any clan castle troops, um, we're going to get rid of this spell factory and then we're going to rush in here and start working on this elixir and this gold. We're going to do the same right over here and we're just going to deploy out and then everybody's going to start working in, the mortars are not high level enough to one shot our archers so it's not going to be that bad at all. Um, make sure we get the rest of that one, let's get all of this up here and then let's work our way down in here as well um, and as you saw he started off at 70,000 gold and right now he is already down to 34 um, all of his collectors are gone up there um, so there's just that one gold mine left right there which had about 10,000 in it yeah looks like it had about 10,000 gold in it so the rest is going to be in his storages um, I'm gonna go ahead and just finish off that mine with these two archers alright so now that is gone um, and from the looks of things, that is all of his gold collectors. So we're going to go ahead and surrender right there. And as you can see, we just got 48,000 gold. 
um, which might not seem like that much overall, but we didn't spend that much when it comes to troops. So now we're going to go back here again, look in here, and we have 31 archers, 19 goblins. You know what? We're going to go back out again and attack. Um, and we're not going to be using that many troops at all. And archers aren't that expensive. They're 200 elixir. And um, we have some goblins mixed in there. And I believe the goblins are only 80 elixir um, at the level I'm at, which is 4, I believe. So the whole point of this is using your troops effectively and taking advantage of other people being offline and things like that. Man, I wish I had a full army for this one. Um... Because he has a whole lot of gold, but it's actually in the storages right there. Um, however, one good thing about this is that his air defense is up there at the top. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to steal his elixir on this one. Um, you know, actually, here, watch this. We're going to... Oh, come on. We're going to use our clan castle, too, because this guy has a whole lot of stuff. Um, so his air defense is gone. Um, oh, nice. I had some balloons in there. We're going to take out all that. We're going to use our minions as well, and they're going to hopefully be able to get in there. Um, see if we can't do some work on that. So the, the minions are going to get in there. There go our goblins. Um, <laughs> thank you for the balloons, whoever gave them to me. That's awesome. So right now we have these minions right here who are not getting shot by anything whatsoever. And they're going to get us a whole lot of that elixir. Um, let's go ahead and drop the rest of our archers down um, and as you saw at the beginning of this I had what was it maybe 40 archers like eight minions something like that um, and we are doing really really good on the resource side of things um, so whenever sorry about that <laughs> something fell so whenever you are um, down in low trophy counts like this we're just gonna let them die um, whenever you're down to low trophy counts of this and you're looking around, if you have an army like that, so 48 archers, 19 goblins, and 5 minions just got me that much in resources. That is very, very cost effective. As you can see, I'm over 3,000 elixir. And all of that, literally all of that, is, <clears throat> is from today. Um, and it's, it's from doing this army composition. Um, so it works really, really well. You just keep on going back in here. You keep filling up your arch balloons. <laughs> what the heck? You keep on filling up your archers. Um, and you can use minions if you want to, like I do, because once the air defenses are down in the lower levels, um, then you're fine. You don't really have to worry about anything besides wizards. So, guys, if you were down in this low trophy count, I'm at 936 right now, which is ridiculous. If you were down in this low of a trophy count, um... Try this out. It works really, really well for me. I've made so... I got a P.E.K.K.A. <laughs> Sweet. I mean, shoot, I'm fine with that. Um, so, today I have probably upgraded 20 walls. Yeah, maybe 15, something like that. And it's all from... Look, there goes the P.E.K.K.A. He's running into my clan castle. There he goes. <laughs> um, but, guys, try this out. Just run around with a bunch of archers. Find the bases that have their collectors on the outside... Um, that don't have that many resources or that don't have that well of an upgraded base and crush it. That's what I've been doing. We can go in here. Actually, I totally forgot about this. We can see my attack logs of 119, 48,000, 15, 79, 127, 290. Look at that one right here. That's with archers. I use my barb king and some goblins. That's all it is. 39,000 right there, 43. Look at this one, 168, just with 90 archers. So use that. Try that out, guys. But be very patient with the bases that you choose. And that's pretty much it. That's my farming strategy right now. It's been working awesome. I've loved it. It's made me so much gold. It's ridiculous. Um, so, But that's going to be all for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, you guys are awesome. Thank you for subscribing. You guys are so much cooler than me. And uh, why don't you do one thing for me, all right? Okay, you promise? Yep, all right. Well, keep calm and clash on for me, guys. I'll see you later.